As you know, both Cal State Bakersfield basketball teams are in Las Vegas playing at Mandalay Bay in the Big West Basketball Championship. The men were looking for some redemption as the women fell in the quarterfinals yesterday. But let's head out to the Michelob Ultra Arena and check in with my favorite sports director, Carrie Osep, who's been in Las Vegas all week long covering these games. So Carrie, did the runners have any luck today? <laughs> Well, I feel lucky with that uh, introduction, Alex. Thank you so much for that. But unfortunately, as we all know, I should start off with people go to Las Vegas to win and find some luck. Unfortunately for the runners, both teams did not do that this tournament. The men, they came into this tournament as the number five seed, and they were playing the number four UC Davis, a team they never met before in those Big West Championship quarterfinals. Well, let's get to the action on how the runners fell out of the tournament today. So just like the women, this team was coming off a bye, but it didn't slow them down as the men took a fast lead on the Aggies. Again, a team they didn't get to face in the regular season due to COVID-19 cancellations. But there still were big time plays from big time playmakers for the runners. And one would be senior Taze Moore, who would come away with the two handed slam. And as well as big defensive plays, as we've come to recognize from the runners, big stops turning into big offensive plays on the under, or other end of the court made it feel like the runners had the edge in this one. But just like we saw in yesterday's women's quarter, CSB began to slow down by the end of the first half, and UC Davis got on top. CSB would not regain the lead later in the second half and t or for a little bit. And this is thanks to Zar Perry knocked back a deep two that would tie it up. But with the winding down clock, Aggies made two crucial drives and a final lane by Ezra and Manjohn. The Aggies knock off the runners in heartbreaking fashion, 58 to 56, the final. So as it seems like it's been a long season for both of these programs, Cal State Bakersfield both had short runs in this tournament. But of course, we want to recognize that today is a pretty historic day for the world of sports. On March 11, 2020, that is when the NBA shut down. And a day later, the WAC tournament would be canceled, and Cal State Bakersfield was in Vegas a year ago, and they didn't even get to play a game. And here we are a year later. So it's a win either way. Regardless of them actually winning on the court, it's still awesome to see these teams get to play in a tournament. But it's very different, obviously, without fans in this arena, and of course, just a different look all around. But again, heartbreak for the Cal State Bakersfield basketball teams as both of them fall out in this tournament, Alex. Yes, Carrie, I'm very happy to see you out there back in Vegas covering our two home teams here. Uh, but I do want to ask you, how has the tournament di been different without fans in the stands? Yeah, so you see one person right there, but <laughs> all around it's pretty empty in this arena, Michelob Ultra Arena, and usually there's a lot of fans. This is where the Las Vegas Aces play, so it's pretty quiet. You can still hear the noise. It kind of sounds like a real atmosphere, I'm sure, to you guys. But the one interesting thing is they do have sections for the student athletes, so when the men were playing, the women would cheer them on and vice versa and some of the coaches. So a cool moment I got to see was Greg McCall, the head coach of the women's basketball team, was cheering on his son today, and you could hear him all around the arena because there's no other noise. So it's pretty interesting, but again, the best part about March Madness, Alex, is the fans. And so that's been a little bit tough to witness, but you know, we still had some great storylines for both teams. So I want to say congratulations to them, but it was a quick trip to Vegas for me, that's for sure.